So we started working in, um, in Kalimantan, which is uh, in, in Borneo. So we spent two field seasons there, but it's really, very, very remote. So we have to go in the jungle for weeks at a time. We know exactly where to go, but there's, there's lots and lots of caves that are not explored. You know, so sometimes we just go off track and then we found like another caves with paintings. So there's just everywhere. What we found in, uh, in Kalimantan is we found the same kind of style of, uh, of like the cave painting or like animal painting. So large mammals, of course, it's not the same animals. And then, but they're painted in the same style. So really large body, round body and small legs. And uh, we were able to date one of them. And the minimum age is uh, 40,000. So it's, it's about 5,000 years at least older than the one in Sulawesi. There's also uh, human instances there that we dated, I think the oldest one is about 37 or 38,000. But also as, uh, one of the most important discoveries also of that paper is that we show that there's more than one style of cave paintings there. So we have, and, and, and when you look at all of the cave, they always superimpose on top of each other. So what we have actually is a first style of camping, cave painting which is red hand stencils and large animal paintings. And after that, on top of it, we have another style of painting, which is more purple, like mulberry color. And what we were able to date it, so we were able to have minimum and maximum dates. So for the first phase, we know that it was made between, it started to be made between 40 and 50,000, maybe 40 and 52,000. But then we have a second phase of a rock art that was made between about 20 and 21,000. So, and this is right at what we call the LGM, the last glacial maximum. So it looks like there was a transition from depicting the animal world to the human world. And it's interesting because I think we have the same thing in, in Europe. So there's different styles of rock art in the Pleistocene in Europe. So it seems like we have the same thing in, in Southeast Asia, like at, at the opposite side of the world.